Well, glory to God. Welcome once again to Power of Faith. I'm Pastor Philip Derby, the family of Faith Victor Church right here in the capital city of Frankfort, Kentucky. And just delighted to be able to share with you the truths of God's word once again. Luke 1 37 says, For with God nothing shall be impossible. Welcome to this wonderful Wednesday. And uh, we have been looking this week at the subject of praise. How important praise is. And, uh, you know, I would. Our book offer this week, I got a couple little mini books that really will help uh, you understand the things of uh, praise. One's called the mantle of praise. You know, the Bible says we've been given the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. And that word garment uh, is better translated mantle of praise. And then uh, this other book is called 50 Ways to Praise God Scripturally. And, uh, you know, when you look in the Word of God, you'll find out that dancing and jumping and, and running and clapping and, uh, you know, all that shouting and uh, is actually biblical. Uh, now, I know somebody can get goofy with uh, anything that's biblical, but uh, there are different expressions of praise. And uh, if you'd like, uh, especially if you're a praise and worship leader, if you like those uh, books, uh, you can go uh, to our website and find it there or call our office 502-875-7886. Now, uh, we started Monday with the sacrifice of praise uh, that we find in Hebrews thirteen fifteen by him. Therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. And I've been bringing out the sacrifice of praise. And yesterday, the sacrifice of joy, that sacrifice means you give up something. See, if uh, you're uh, pulling into a, restaurant and you see that parking spot and you're going to go get that parking spot and then you see this little old lady that's pulling in there but you can beat them in there uh, you can beat her in there but you sacrifice you let her in there with your kind self see you gave up something you gave up something for someone else that jesus he sacrificed his life for us. See, he gave up something for us. So when you and I are sacrificing in our praise, we're giving up something. What are we giving up? Time. Now, now it takes time to praise the Lord. It takes time to exalt his holy name. See, but also one of the biggest things you give up is how you are feeling, your emotions. What is your, see, any, anybody can praise the Lord when everything's going right. It's when it's not going right, it's going in a different direction. Do you still have your praise? See, and that's where faith comes in. That's where uh, you and I have to develop uh, our uh Praise beyond our circumstance. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, he is worthy to be praised. So uh, Monday, we looked at the sacrifice of praise. Yesterday, we looked at the sacrifice of joy. That's a big one. And uh, if you missed any of those, go back into the podcast uh, our Power of Faith podcast, and you can listen to them over and over again. But today, we're going uh, to look at uh, Psalms 107, verse 22, where it says, And let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing. Okay, here we go. Sacrifice of thanksgiving. Well, that's giving thanks. 
Thanksgiving. We enter his gates with thanksgiving. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Being thankful. You know, I, I, I say thank you, Jesus, all the time. And thank you, Lord. Not, not religiously. I mean it. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Lord. You know, uh, last year, I was raised from the dead six times. I don't remember none of it. Uh, it was told me. My, my wife raised me from the dead the first time uh, in our house. And then they uh, took me, rushed me to the hospital. And I died uh, five more times, uh, four times on the operating table. And then when they got me ICU, I died again. Well, uh, I'm thankful to be alive. Here I am on, on, on radio, strong, stronger than I've been in years and healthy. I'm thankful. See, I'm thankful. Well, you may be listening to me and you're in the hospital right now. You may be listening to me or laying at home uh, on, on the bed, you know, and you got something uh, that's trying to hold you back in your physical body. Well, uh, you know, the whole time I was recovering, I stayed thankful. I just stayed Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Giving thanks to God. Why? He's worthy of, thank, of, of uh, thanksgiving. Now, it says in 1 Thessalonians 5, 18, in everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Now, it says in everything. It does not say for everything. Car wreck. Well, thank you, Lord, for that car wreck. No, 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 no. In the car wreck, you weren't you weren't injured, or whatever it may be. That thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You kept me safe in that car wreck. See, there's a misinterpretation when it comes to that scripture that no matter what happens, uh, we're just supposed to thank God because He had a reason for it. Well, He had a reason because that person uh, didn't didn't. Uh, the reason it happened wasn't God planning a car wreck, uh, you know, to teach you something or whatever. It's people make mistakes, see? And so in everything, give thanks. Well, we're not, again, we're not thanking him for the situation. We're thanking him for the solution. We're thanking him for, that by his stripes we were healed. We're thanking him that he supplies all of our needs according to his riches and glory. We're thanking him that we're a new creation in Christ Jesus. We're thanking him that he heals the brokenhearted. We're thanking him that we have soundness of mind. We're thanking him that the memory of the just is blessed. And see, when you get your thanksgiving on, instead of looking at uh, the, your situation, and you just start thanking God, I tell you what, uh, everything starts shifting in uh, your uh, thinker about life because you realize uh, how much God has done for you already, and he's not done, he's not through, but our part is to keep praising God. Sacrifice of praise, sacrifice of joy, sacrifice of thanksgiving. Psalms 116 verse 17 says, I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving and will call upon the name of the Lord. Now these two books uh, this week, The Mantle of Praise, I tell you, uh, it'll help anyone dealing with oppression and heaviness uh, knowing how to rise above that uh, by the anointing of God on the believer. And then this other one, there are many books, uh, 50 Ways to Praise God. I tell you, uh, when you see what the Bible says, and I've, I've, done, I've done your work for you where, you, where there's 50 Hebrew words with the scriptures that go with it. Uh, for instance, number 32 is uh, Renah. I guess how you'd say it in Hebrew. A shrill sound 
rejoicing, shouting, triumph, singing. And then there's three uh, verses where that word is used. Uh, and there's just 50 of these. Uh, Kara, to dance and whirl, see? And when you see this, uh, it will challenge you to go beyond just clapping your hands. And uh, if you want those little mini books, call our office, 502-875-7886, and uh, we'll get those in the mail to you, or simply go to our website, faithvictorychurch.us, and scroll down to the bookstore, and you'll find them there among all the other books. 50 Ways to Praise God uh, and or The Mantle of Praise. So I would encourage you, no matter what you're going through on this wonderful Wednesday, to get your joy going, get your thanksgiving going, and I understand the sacrifice. I have been there, my wife and I, uh, just several uh, weeks ago, I looked at her and I said, uh, we need to praise the Lord. We need to quit talking about this situation. We need to get it praise the Lord. She said, I know it. Uh, and I said, well, let's do it. She said, well, you put some music on. I said, you put some music on. And we're sitting there going back and forth. And finally, we shook ourselves away from that, put some praise music on, got dancing around the house and shouting. And you know what? Everything shifted. Everything changed. He's worthy of the praise anyways. Even if nothing ever changed, he's, he's worthy of the praise. But things do change. Things do uh, shift. Why? Because you get out of the fear, you get out of the oppression of the situation, and you get back over into the hope, into the reality that it's not going to stay like that. And then faith rises up inside of you, and boom, things start changing. Hallelujah. So that's what we've been looking at all this week, and we'll continue uh, looking at that uh, tomorrow and the next day. But our prayer line is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That number is 502 597 Four three five seven, and those prayer ministers are standing by. If you've never accepted Jesus as your personal Savior, uh, and you know you just uh, somebody told you to listen to this uh, Christian radio uh, station, and and God's tugging on your heart, call that number five zero two five nine seven four three five seven. Or if you've been living a lifestyle you know is not pleasing to God, get it right. That's what uh, God wants for your life. And uh, you need that peace in your life. So uh, our time has expired today. And so glad you were able to be with us. And trust you can uh, be a regular listener on this Power of Faith program. If you miss any of these or if you want to listen to them again, go to our Power of Faith uh, podcast and you can listen to them over and over again. Pastor Philip reminding you, Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4, where the word of a king is, there's power. You be a blessing.